Hi. Okay, so uh, before you start doing a Screencastify recording, it's really important that you set up your YouTube channel for the district first in order to post your Screencastify videos to YouTube. So the very first thing you want to do on your district computer, you want to make sure that you are logged in to Chrome. Um, I've borrowed a friend's account so that I can start from the beginning here, um, and she hasn't done this before. So um, I'm on my district laptop. I'm logged into Google Chrome um, with my district account, and I am going to go to YouTube. Yes, YouTube.com. And from here, I'm going to click on my icon up here that shows. Um, then I am logged in as my district account and I am going it I'm verifying that it says Bittenville K12.org right here and then I'm going to say create a channel. Okay, and from here I'm going to say get started. And it's really important that you choose this option. This is your district option. We do not want a branded account that will mess things up tremendously. So we want this account right here, and we're going to click select. Okay, and now it says your channel has been created. And that's all you have to do on the YouTube end of things to make sure that your channel is created. Now, some of you may go to YouTube, and I'm gonna get, just go back to um, what you may see. You may see that when you log into YouTube, initially, you may already have that channel set up and you can verify that by clicking on your icon and say your channel and here's what it's gonna look like. Here's your channel already created. And that's all you need to do in order to get, um, oh, except that's not right. You have to click the approve button right here. This is really important because if you don't click approve on that, then um, your students and other people won't be able to see the things that you post on this channel because it's going to go all the Screencastify videos you place on YouTube is going to go into this channel. So it's really important to click approve. OK, and then once you do that, then it toggles to remove so that if you see remove, you know you've already approved it and you don't need to take any further action. Okay, just a few steps, not hard to do. Um, I think it will go pretty smoothly.